In today's video, we're going to be talking about my top five favorite websites to use with AI. This includes all media generation sites that I've used, as well as a replacement for both ChatGPT and Google searching. Let's jump right in with Suno, which has been a staple in my AI generation journey. So if you're unaware about Suno, it does have its explore page where you can click and listen to different music that other people have already created. But then if you go to the create tab, you can make your own music. You just type in a description that you want. I'm going to keep it on classics lyric mode just because I know how well that works. And also this is YouTube. I can save it to whatever workspace I want and click create. And within one to two minutes, this will automatically generate a song up to about three to four minutes, although you can always extend it past that point. And in about 30 seconds, it will show up here. It doesn't have a time bar because it is still generating it. So if I click on it, it'll give me the preview, but it'll still continue to buffer as it generates. So both of these were about the same amount of time in a minute and 46 seconds. Now that it's finished, I can always extend it. So it'll keep the first half of the song and then you can have basically an entirely new song all mashed together. This has lyrics, but if I click instrumental, now I can just choose the style of music and now it's an instrumental piece instead. And my favorite thing about Suno is technically it's not completely free, but they give you enough credits that unless you're generating music every hour on the hour, you will have no issues with credits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Walking in the dark. Midnight stroll, caught the edge of furniture, paint patrol. Stars dance, my vision almost black. Stub toe screaming, never looking back. And given the input that you gave it, you can always search up other people's music that they have generated that is a similar style to yours. So if I have deep voice and rapping, I can come over here and you can see that this guy created a gaming song. Right, so I click on his and now I can see his music in German. Right, I can see all these. These all seem to be in German because now that I clicked on his stuff, now it's showing me all the German stuff. And if I really like this song, I can click on his profile and it'll show up all the songs that he has made himself. If I don't like that song in particular, I just can head on back and I can click on any of these instead. I'll leave a link to all these websites down in the description below. So if you do like any of these websites, feel free to try them out for yourself. HeyGen blew my mind a couple of months ago, and if you want to take a look at that video, click up in the cards above. But HeyGen has crazy technology where I submitted a 30 second video using my voice and a script that they gave me. And what it did is that it used my likeness and my voice to create a brand new video where I gave it a script and it created the video from there using data that it got from the sample video that I gave it. It was researching, uploading photos, audio clips, and video samples. I looked at still image generators, AI avatars with lip syncing, and full AI avatars that express and have human-like speech sensation. Before I show you the best of the best overall, I want to show you the best websites I found in each category. HeyGen now has a suite of new AI tools like video podcasting, where you submit a PDF that will give you the highlights of the PDF that you uploaded in a video format using AI avatars. Hey, have you heard about DeepSeek's R1 model release? It's yeah. causing quite a stir in the AI community. Yeah, I heard it's making AI models way cheaper. What's the deal exactly. with that? Well, it's about 30 times cheaper than OpenAI's O1 model. Can you believe wow. that? There's interactive avatar that'll let you talk to an avatar that was trained on a specific model. So you can be talking to an interviewer or a coach or a doctor. There's personalized videos where you record one video and using AI and a list of names, say from a Google Sheet, you can send out personalized messages to every person on that list. There's instant highlights that'll let you take one video and turn it into individual clips for TikTok or short form content. And then there's URL to video where you upload a link, let's say to a, an Amazon product or an Etsy product, and it'll create a video for you that highlights the features of whatever that product is. If you'd like me to take a more in-depth look into HiGen Labs and its new features, let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, make sure you take a look at my older video about HiGen and its capabilities that were released about a year ago. My third favorite website that I've been using a lot is Hugging Face. Hugging Face takes 
a collection of different AI models from Flux to DeepSeek to Ideogram to even things like HeyGen and puts it all into one open source space that you can use and even modify. So one thing that I have done with Hugging Face is actually create my own AI model where I take my own face and put it on different prompts. So I've put it on Superman and Aquaman and weightlifters and things along those lines. If you want to take a look at how I did that, I'm going to leave a card in the description below. Make sure you take a look at that as well. But what Hugging Face also does, if you click on models, it'll take you to all the different models that it has. And you can narrow it down from here. So if you want mask generation or 3D imaging or image to video, all you have to do is click on one of these and it'll give you all of the models that are user submitted that you can use. Now these are user submitted, but as you can see, they have a download rate and a like rate so that you can tell which ones are real or which ones are best known or which ones work the best. So you have things like stability AI. If you go to image text to text, you have deep seek over here. If you go to mask generation, you can see the models that they're using as well as what the category is. A lot of the times these models from hugging face will lead you to other websites that will let you practice or mess with the models that they have created. And in that case, my favorite website that does this is Replicate. Now Replicate did release its own new playground, which is in beta. But what you can do is take a look at their handpicked models of different AI models from around the internet. So you have Flux over here, right? You have Kling and you can mess around with any of these. So if you go, let's go to Flux. This is the interface where you can just mess around with it and it's all in one place. You don't have to make your own models. You don't need an API. It's all right here. So hugging face, right? I can enter a URL. So if I have an image already that I want to modify it further, I can do it here right? and I can change all of these settings. I'm going to keep these settings on default and just run model. And now that I'm using LTX video, now it's going to create a video instead of a photo. So replicate, you can do it all in one. So what I like to do is go to hugging face, look up the different models, look up different things that I can use, whether it's masking, whether it's turning a black and white image to color or vice versa, whether it's background removal. And then I'll often use replicate to then give me those outputs. I don't want to make my own model every time. I don't want to use an API every time. So this makes it nice and easy. It's all web and browser based. And for the most part, if it's not free, it's very cheap. So some of the things that are running on hug hugging face are pennies to make. Most of the things that run on hugging face, you do have to pay for, but there's cents to make, right? I can make three images for one cent usually. So they, they are very cheap. They're not quite free, but they are very cheap to make, right? So in about a minute, right? And without messing with any of these steps, right? I could definitely mess with the aspect ratio. I could mess with the strength of the, I could mess with the strength of the prompt, right? I could mess with any of these. And then a couple seconds, this is what it has created for me. Now, obviously this is not great. However, all I have to do is either change the model or I can modify it from here till I get what I really want. Now it's clearly not going to be as good as if I went to LTX itself right there. I can mess with a lot more settings. I can change the style and whatnot, but for an all in one where I can just click on replicate and go to explore. And now I can search up all of these really popular websites like DeepSake and Recraft, right? All in one convenient site. So the combination of hugging face and replicate are my go-tos for different things that I want to try out that are not specialized in anything like a Suno, like a HeyGen and things along those. The last website that I use almost daily is a website called Perplexity. Now I use it as its website version only because I am so accustomed to Google that I have not transitioned it into my dedicated search engine. However, other than transitioning it into my dedicated search engine, I've been starting to use complexity on my phone more and more often than not. So with complexity is basically an AI powered search engine. So I can just simply ask it, give me the list of the top 10 AI innovations from the past month, and it will show its work. It'll tell me what it's thinking, right? So it'll give me the synopsis, but it'll also give me the, the sources where I can just click on it and it'll automatically take me to the website that it cited. And you can click here just, and it'll again, cite every bit of information that you give it. What it'll also do is let me search images, videos, and even generate images based on the search that I just gave it. So these are all 
the videos that it cited and videos that I can now research based on my search that I just looked up. Right? It'll give me related searches, things along those lines, and I can ask it something on top of that. I can ask it. I did make a typo, but as with most AI things nowadays, that doesn't really matter. It'll give me the sources again, and based on what I gave it at first, I had a related topic. It's going to remember what it told me, and now it will give me even more information, this time specifically about Deep Sea Grailer. And again, I can look up videos. So if I wanted to do more research about it, I have all these guys that I can look into as well. On top of all of this, I can even change the model that it uses. If I wanted to pay 20 bucks a month, I can go with Pro, which will give me even more sources and more information, right? Or I could use, I can ask Deep Sea how I can get better at checkers. And now it'll tell you what it's thinking as it's thinking it, which is kind of cool. It'll give you the reasoning. And again, this is Deep Sea own model. The model that it's using is hosted in the US. So it's, it's localized. If you've made it to this far in the video, make sure you please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really does help the channel. For music generation, Suno, number one, hands down. Video generation, just all in all, anything to do with video generation or creation. Hey Jen is my go-to. All in all, for a better version of Google, that'll give me its research and its thought process and even link a lot better to sources that I can even further my education on. Perplexity is my number one. And finally, Hugging Face and Replicate. Put together Hugging Face so that I can look into new models and new AI features that have just been released and replicate in order to use those features, put together, make my top five AI websites for 2025 so far.